Hey there, and welcome back to this rare the Master Soul Level 1 playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Last time we fought against Yorm and Aldrich, as well as the Dancer, only one of which actually gave me any sort of trouble. So today I'm going to start by giving a whole lot of gifts to people, including all the ashes I picked up and I gave them to the Shrine Maiden so I could buy some gold pine resin. I also went to see Andre to reinforce my Estus Flask. So after doing all of that, I'm going to head to the bonfire so I can teleport back to Dancer's Arena. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on, but first I have to get stuck on this chair, so move around that and skip the cutscene as always and climb up the ladder. So now that I'm all set and ready to go, I'm going to head on to Lothric Castle. Not really, we're heading into the Consumed King's Garden. So here's the door that will be used as a shortcut later on, and down the stairs is this item over here, which is actually some souls, so that's cool. After stabbing this guy in the crotch, it's time to take the elevator down, which will eventually lead you to this little platform you can drop to, and over here is an Estus shard, so we are starting to get a lot of those. Also, you can leave over here and pick up this Titanite shard, as well as kill these guys, because they suck, and they also give you some large Titanite shards when you kill them. Pick up this Ring of Sacrifice too, so you can sell it later on, I guess. Here's your large Titanite shard, by the way. So I'm going to kill this guy as well, and as it turns out, they actually have a chance to give you Titanite shards, so... That's cool, so you can farm them here if you're missing out on some, I suppose. There's another chunk over there, some human pine resin here, so... That's always fun. Also, climb up these stairs, and there's another titanite chunk right here. Afterwards, I head into the toxic swamp in the middle of the area to pick up the human pine resin, and also kill a bunch of slugs, because that's very important. And I'm just going to loot everything around here, which includes some pointless armor, some black fire bombs, and some claws, which I'll never use, but... Oh well. So move out of there, use some blooming purple moss get rid of the toxic, and heal yourself so you don't die. And I'll take this elevator, which will eventually lead you to the shortcut. So at the top, just follow the path and kill all the enemies if you want, and you can also pick up the titanite scale and the titanite chunk that's over here. And I'm going to go ahead and open the shortcut door, and while I'm at it, I'm going to have a look through my items, and I'm going to notice that I have 7 titanite chunks, so... I thought that if I could get one more, I could actually upgrade my weapon to plus 10, so I'm going to head into Lothric Castle to find the chunk real quick, because I want to upgrade my weapon to plus 10 while I'm going to go back to Firelink real quick, but... As it turns out, I was stupid, that wasn't the case, so this ends up being kind of a waste of time. So we killed the cleric, because he actually heals the knight otherwise. Pick up the soul item and get murdered by the knight, because you're bad at parrying with a regular shield. So kill him, they also drop large type knight charms pretty much all the time. And after parrying this guy and killing him, as well as this guy with the shield over here, I'm going to pick up the type knight shards they left for me, and I'm going to move on now after taking this corner, so here's the first bonfire. So heading up these stairs, which is the way forward, there's this chest over here, but that's not where the Titanite chunk is, this is just some armor, which whatever, I'm not going to use it, but oh well. So instead move over here, and here's the Titanite chunk, so that's cool. So now I'm going to head back to the bonfire, so I can warp back to Firelink Shrine. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and see Andre so that I can upgrade my Estus using the Estus shard I picked up earlier. So there you go, and I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade my weapon, but I didn't have enough Titanite chunks, so I can only go up to plus 8. I'm gonna be stuck with that for now, I need two more chunks, so... Oh well, we'll find those later, as you'll eventually see. So back to the shortcut in the garden, you can also drop halfway through this elevator to land on this ledge right here, and... It's not much, but it's a safer path to the boss fight, so that's always cool. There's also the Dragon Scale Ring, which reduces damage from backstab, so basically it's pointless, but well, it's a ring you can pick up. Maybe you can sell it if you're really in need of cash or something. So after having a look around the area, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to simply run past this guy because he sucks and I don't want to fight him and lose half of my Estus while I'm trying to get to the boss, so before I head in I'm going to use a green blossom to increase my stamina regen and I'm also going to use some gold pine resin for some lightning damage for more damage against the boss. So here's Osiris. So basically I'm going to start out the fight by just going right up to his crotch and start slapping away, but eventually I'm going to move past, so I'm going to start slashing away at his ankles from the back, as well as his tail, that's 
the big hitbox, so that's always cool. Eventually I managed to reach phase 2, but phase 2 doesn't change a whole lot, so I'm just going to keep going into his crouch, but since my sword has run out of electricity, I'm going to use the gold fine resin to increase my damage, and then I got insta-killed by his ram attack, so whoop de doo So attempt number 2, which is actually a successful one, and you may have noticed I've used an ember, and this was in the hopes of being able to avoid getting insta-killed by the ram attack once again, because if I can avoid that, then I'm pretty much guaranteed to win, because that's really the only attack you have to watch out for, because it has almost no tail, so it kind of just happens, and all of a sudden you get smacked into oblivion. So after getting smacked with staff, he's going to back off and initiate phase 2, so I'm going to go up to his ass and start smacking away, as I always do. Fun fact, the ass is rather safe, as is his crotch, so... You just stay in those delicate parts and you smack away and eventually you're going to be able to kill him. Most of his attacks are rather easy to dodge and some will simply outright miss you if you're staying in his crotch or on his ass. Pretty much everything except for the ram attack which he used to insta-kill me before, so as long as you don't get one-shotted by that, you'll be perfectly fine. So as you can see, the amber is doing its job preventing me from getting insta-killed, so that's really all I needed from it, and that's pretty much all I needed to win the fights. His magic attacks also exist, but well, they're really easy to dodge, so they're no trouble whatsoever. So now we're stuck in the corner, and the camera is going to get all kinds of bad, but it's not that big a deal, so... I'm just going to keep going, and eventually I'm going to actually stagger him, so you should use that time to get a couple of hits in because he takes more damage, but I only got one, doesn't, doesn't really matter, though I'm just going to keep on going, and a few hits later, and by that I mean one hit on him and one hit on me, I'm going to try to heal and get smacked in the face with his tail for that. So after dodging his magic attacks and trying to get my composure back so that I don't mess up and die, I'm going to mess up my attacks, I'm just going to run straight up and smack his arm, and that's going to be good enough. So that's Osiris dead, it only took 3 tries, so... Wait, no, it took 2 tries, but whatever, I'm proud of myself, alright? So after killing Osiris, I'm going to sit at a bonfire and take a quick trip to Firing Shrine in order to spend all the souls I got, I suppose. So first I'm going to head to the Shrine Maiden and I'm going to buy a whole ton of gold pine resin just to make sure that I never run out of them. And I think that's going to be about it, so back at Osiris I'm going to keep on going and head to the door that's behind him and I'm going to start prepping for the next boss in my inventory. So after killing this serpent dragon guy you come over here to this room and you pick up this gesture, which is important to reach an optional area, which I'll be doing later on, so open this chest, which gives you a nice, nice scale, and whack this wall, because it's fake, so you can get through and head into the next area, the untended graves. So light the bonfire and sit down in order to heal from the fall damage that you took, and pick up these soul items on the way, because well, they're always useful, make sure that you get murdered by this Grave Warden as well, and pick up this Titanite chunk, so that's going to be very useful. Also, come over here and get murdered by these Crystal Lizards. After killing a dog, pick up the Titanite chunk that he's guarding, and finally head back to the Crystal Lizard, so you can die once again. And after dying to the Grave Warden one more time, it's time to go ahead and actually kill the Crystal Lizards this time. So that's Crystal Lizard number one down, and after... Fighting this guy, I'm going to stagger him and get a crit, which is going to finish him off. So that's number two down, you get four Titan Spheres for killing all of them. The rest of the stage is just a whole bunch of hollows, and eventually I'm going to reach the boss, who is going to be a very familiar face, as you can see in the background. So it's time to face Champion Gundir, which is just Gundir, except he's a whole lot harder, so the strategy is going to go ahead and parry him for crits, and as you can see my damage is less than I would have liked it to be, so this is pretty bad, because in case you weren't aware I am terrible at parrying, and the damage output I have right now it's not looking too good for me. So after failing a parry I'm going to go ahead and die. So I'm going to eventually come back and try to fight him again, but I'm going to die a second time, so 
At that point I decide I'm going to need a bit more help, so I'm going to go back to Firelink Shrine in order to upgrade my sword to plus 10 with the two titanite chunks I picked up along the way, so... Here you go, I am now the proud owner of a plus 10 broadsword, and as you can see the damage is actually a lot better this time around. As you might expect, that didn't really change the fact that I got murdered a whole bunch of times. Right here I stopped moving because I received a phone call from my job, so it was a funny little anecdote. So yeah, anyway, I have fun watching me die over and over again. Some of them were pretty funny and depressing, like this one right here where I got murdered by the Grey Warden on my way again. Alright, that's enough. Now it's time to actually go ahead and win this time around, so I'm going to start out with the usual buffs, which is a green blossom for extra stamina regen, as well as a charcoal pine resin for some extra damage, so I'm going to go straight in and parry him, and I also started going for 1R1 before going for the critical hit, so that way I could get a bit more mileage out of every parry I get to make things a little easier on myself. So that's pretty much what the fight boils down to, is just wait for an attack that you can parry and go ahead and parry it. Right here I did a backstep on accident, so I guess I lost my chance to go for the R1, but it's not the end of the world, so that's basically what it is, just keep parrying and make sure that you try not to die. That's a very good tip, wow. Try to back off after every crit in order to avoid as much as possible to be out of range of the unparryable attacks and also to regain your stamina. So right here I'm going to go for the final crit, but he's still alive but he doesn't have much HP left so I just go ahead and finish him off with two R1s. So there you go, it took 10 tries if you count the time I died against the Grave Warden while I was on my way, so yeesh. That took around 30 minutes to do it. Felt a lot longer to be honest, but I guess it wasn't that bad. So I've lit the bonfire and I'm going to go ahead and sit in order to replenish my Estus. And with that done, it's time to move on out of here through this door, which leads you to the rest of the untenant graves. Which, yes, it's basically just a reskin of the Cemetery of Ash from the beginning of the game, in case you hadn't noticed. So moving on here, back in the Cemetery of Ash, this place is just filled with weak-ass hollows, but over here in the Untended Graves it's filled with some less weak-ass Black Knights, and after getting clapped by a gun there for 30 minutes, I didn't feel like getting clapped by them too, so I just decided I was going to avoid them as much as possible, though I did get slammed into the ground by this guy, but I did pick up the Hornet Ring and some souls, so that's cool. So here in Untended Firelink, the first thing I'm going to pick up is the Coral Sword Fragment over here, which is just a homeward bone with infinite uses, and I'm also going to speak to the alternate version of the Shrine Handmaid and pick up the Priestess Ring as well as the two embers that she's selling, so those things will come in handy later. And I'm also going to pick up Andre's Blacksmith Hammer over here because, well, it's here and I want it. So if you head on down here to where Miss Miracle usually is, you'll see a wall, but it's fake, so if you bash it, you open the way and you can pick up the Eyes of the Firekeeper, which are some story-related items, so I'll be messing around with that later. So now I'm going to go back to Firelink, the real Firelink, that is. So one last trip to the Shrine Maiden before I leave, and I'm going to go ahead and buy a whole lot of green blossoms because I was starting to run out of them, so... I bought 56 of them, so I should be good for some time now. And that's going to be the end of the video, so once again I hope you enjoyed. If you did, that's cool. If not, well, sorry, I tried my best. And I'm going to enjoy a nice relaxing sleep next to the bonfire.